Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever time it is where you are. Um, I hope everybody is having an amazing day so far. Had to get on here for a second. I know it's been a little inconsistent. Um, I try to get in at least two of the three of these a week. Um, I want to be a little more consistent with this, so that is something I'm committing to for you guys. But I had to get on here because I got a lot of things on my heart, a lot of things that have been on my mind here in the last couple of days. So anything I can say to kind of kind of jerk somebody into place or inspire or motivate or empower somebody to get exactly where they wanted to be in life, it is a win for me. Um, I know exactly what this information that I'm about to give has done for my life, has provided my lifestyle with, and ultimately provided my purpose and my family with is, is priceless. Um, so I want to give as much as possible. One thing that I wanted to discuss with you guys um, is about non-negotiables. Right. Talking a little bit about vision, about focus. Right. Right. Um, and about your non-negotiables. Um, I think a lot of times people want success. Right. We, we want to have the success in our lives. We talk about it. Uh, we, we, we put up the plans and we make our goals and, you know, we get around people that aren't necessarily in congruency with the vision that we have for our lives. And I think now is the time, most importantly, that we no longer allow success to be optional, but instead we make it non-negotiable, all right? Success is not a comfortable journey. I'm, look at me. Look at me right now. Look me in my eyes. Success is not a comfortable journey, okay? Understand that once you commit to whatever you're doing, once you make a promise to yourself that you will no longer live in mediocrity, that's when your journey or your trials begin, all right? It's so important, and I'll say this over and over and over again. It is so important that day one of your journey, you establish your vision, all right? The path may change. Information may change, but your vision is never going to leave you. Your dream is your dream. My opinion is that your dream, your desires have been given to you by God. There is no one else that needs to affirm that in you because it's already been given to you by a higher power. I'm not here to impose my beliefs on you. This is just simply what I believe, right? I don't know if you believe in Allah, the universe, whatever the case may be. Understand that there is a higher power than you. So whatever desire you have in your heart, it is up to you to continue to see that through. I heard something the other day. I I thought it was so interesting. Um, Someone said that people's tongues are going in a different direction than the tongues in their shoes. Did you hear what I just said? People's tongues in their mouth are going in a different direction than the tongue of your shoes. But once those two become congruent, it is going to lead you on the path. Again, lead you on the path that is in alignment with your journey. All right. So so how does this how does this vision come to be? All right, well, first of all, what is your desire? Have you even had a chance to write that down yet? Have you been completely honest about what's keeping you behind? Because I heard somewhere that if you know the enemy, you can defeat the enemy. If you know the enemy, you can defeat the enemy. Have you been complacent in your life? Have you been settling for mediocrity? Because at the end of the day, we are the culmination of the decisions that we make in our life. Hmm. I'm going to say that again. At the end of the day, we are the culmination of the decisions that we have made in our lives. Decisions are habits. Habits are the sum total of where we are and who we are in our lives today. So guess what? If you want that to change, it's time to change your decisions. There is no difference between myself and Oprah besides the decisions that are made on a daily basis. There is no difference between you and the person that you look to like, man, they got an incredible lifestyle. Besides the decisions they make. You know, I hear a lot of people talking about the how-to. You know, I've been introduced to this business and that business, and, you know, I'm looking at this product and that product, and what should I do with my life? Understand that at the end of the day, all you must do is believe. I say this from my heart of hearts, and I mean this with every vibration in my body. I will be a multi multi millionaire. I will be a billionaire one day because I have to get there. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
All right. The value that I am looking to bring to the marketplace will bring this into my life. My commitment is to God, my family and my business. At the end of the day, my magnificent obsession is to inspire and empower over 100 million people. When that happens, that is the value that comes with it. And I'll do it any way I can. What's your vision? All right. What's your vision? What do you truly want? What do you truly want? I sat down with a good friend of mine the other day and he has some some questions about life. And, you know, he saw what I'm doing in my life and I'm making progress and understand. I understand who butters and bakes the bread. Right. So with all humility, this is not me. All right. This this is not any. Hey, (laughs) praise to me at all. All glory to God for everything that I'm going through. And I'm so grateful. All right. I'm so grateful for everything that I have right now in my life. And I want to use all of it to inspire you. What is your desire? All right. You know, some people don't even do what I do in the first three hours of my day and their entire week. And that starts with the decision. So first I came up with my vision. I made success non-negotiable for me. All right. The success that I've had over the last year and a half, two years is a culmination of a letdown, a letdown that I had in myself and the people that loved me and my family and, and God. I had let everyone down without getting into my story right now. I made a decision one day that I will never allow myself to be in that position again. It is non-negotiable. You know, yeah, you're going to get knocked down on your journey. You will be knocked down. But guess what? That strength that you use, you know, when, when you're tired and you can't go anymore in your day, that strength that you use to get back up now gives you the confidence when you go through that similar situation to know that it's possible for you. All right. What level type of person are you? What level type of person are you? Are you a 10 on a scale of one to 10 being, being the top of the line? Are you a 10? Because guess what? We all have issues. We all have problems. We all have difficulties. So when that level eight problem hits a level 10 person, guess what? Easy money, right? But if you're a level four person, and you're dealing with a level six issue, it looks catastrophic in your life. All right? Guys, if you don't get anything else out of this message, make a decision. Non-negotiable. Do whatever it takes. Do not worry about the how. Do not worry about you getting to a new area. First of all, believe in a higher power than yourself. You do not have all the answers. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be open unto you. That's all I do. Every single day before I make another move, I'm grateful, I pray, and I meditate. I'm not doing anything until those come in order. So that means my spiritual relationship, all right, again, not to impose anything on anybody, but my spirituality is the cornerstone of my entire life. What is yours? I don't, I I want everybody to be successful. I want everybody to experience what life truly has for you because you deserve it. All right. Our our lifespan is but a speck in in the entirety of time. What are you going to do with it? Right. I, I know everybody talks about the dash, right? You have your born day, that dash, and then your death. What does that dash signify for you? What will people remember you as? Right. You're here one day and you're gone the next day. I recognize this in my business more than anything else. It's not about what you leave for your children. Yes, I talk about materialism a lot. Unfortunately or fortunately, that dirty money, (laughs) that dirty paper is basically the value system for a lot of people to see what your significance is in life. But at the end of the day, I want to leave more in my children than what I'm leaving for them. You understand what I'm saying? How will your name go on? What significant impact will you leave on the world? My vision is to be non-negotiating with life. I am going to control my life. So again, guys, I hope you guys have an incredible day, incredible weekend. Um, I'm going to try to be a little more consistent on these videos. I know it feels like I'm yelling at you guys. And honestly, I am. 
I am. I think it's a lot of you that have made the New Year's resolutions. There's a lot of people that have said they want help in X, Y, Z area. Well, it's time to take some responsibility to be truthful with yourself and to make some things happen. It is now February, uh, February 12th. All right. Some, some of you have given up on your New Year's resolutions already. No, we are just now getting started. All right. There's some incredible things happening in our business right now. There's some incredible things happening in your life. What are you focused on? Are you focused on what you don't have? Are you focused on the friends that you wish you could have? Be grateful. Start with gratitude. What are you grateful for right now? Because if you're watching this video, you have a device, an opportunity, or or, or something that costs you money. That's something to be grateful for. Let this message, immerse yourself in this message and start going out there and finding the information. I am so hungry for information. And then apply it. All right. Don't don't just be moved by the information. Say, man, that was that was some good stuff. No, go out and and apply it immediately. What to say when you speak to yourself by Dr. Shad Helmstetter. Think and grow rich by Napoleon Hill. James Allen, as a man thinketh. All right. Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Go get some information. That will change your life. Have an amazing day.